Undeniably, the coronavirus outbreak has given birth to a new era. The Chinese regime was known to keep tight reins on its media, but now it has launched a worldwide offensive against any negative coverage of the outbreak. Foreign journalists are being expelled and pressure is being built on domestic press elsewhere. Let, let's start by showing you an image which has now come to signify Beijing's war on foreign media. This is from an op-ed published in the Kathmandu Post, an English language daily in Nepal. It's aptly titled, China's secrecy has made the coronavirus crisis much worse. And it shows the communist revolutionary Mao Zedong behind a mask. FIR, this column was reprinted from the Seoul-based Korea Herald and is penned by a former U.S. ambassador to NATO. But it is Nepal's media which is facing China's rot. The Chinese embassy in Kathmandu has gone public with a direct attack against this newspaper. The tone of their sharply worded statement is remarkable. Allow us to quote, the Kathmandu Post with a picture of malicious intention has deliberately smeared the efforts of the Chinese government and has viciously attacked the political system of China. Now the chief editor has become a parrot of some anti-China forces. The Chinese embassy reserves the right for further action. Quote ends, and the right for further action is in this quite uncharacteristic of an embassy. And yet, it's the Chinese ambassador to Nepal, Ho Yangchi, who herself tweeted this statement, triggering a fire storm on social media. She's probably forgotten that Nepal is still a democracy and a sovereign state, irrespective of the influence China wields there. Several social media users have pointed this out. And the Kathmandu Post too has hit back. Along with a group of editors from a cross-section of the Nepalese media, they say if Nepal is to keep its sovereignty, it needs to ensure that no other nation, no matter how powerful, is allowed to dictate terms to them. They have a point and they aren't the only ones facing the dragon's fire. China is undertaking a broader worldwide offensive. We told you how it has already expelled three journalists of the Wall Street Journal. Now, we've shown you reports of how the Chinese regime is trying to push propaganda by paying foreign journalists to tell the China story well. And last year, the Foreign Correspondents Club of China conducted a survey of 109 journalists in the country. All of them revealed that they were being threatened with visa delays or were being issued short-stay visas due to their coverage critical of China. This is a worrying sign. The coronavirus has turned China's attitude from bad too hostile. At the receiving end are Chinese nationals too. A backlash is evident and growing bigger. The mishandling of the outbreak has emboldened Chinese citizens who now want the authorities to honor free speech. This is a watershed moment and about time. Listen to this. Taiwan as you can see, dissent is on the rise in China. This is just one example. Many in China are now putting everything on the line to speak up against the repressive state. These calls for accountability are being compared to the Tiananmen Square protests back in 1989. Speaking of the virus, thousands have died. According to China, 2,117. The total number of infections are at 75,000 and counting. Millions continue to be under lockdown and the global impact is severe. Economies are suffering and the World Health Organization is also divided. The coronavirus is now about to hit Africa. Our updates will continue as we bring you reports from Ground Zero.